a completely different method of power. Recover our device in an easy and fast way. What are we going to do in this video tutorial? We're going to use a completely updated method where you will be guided step by step to recover it. Um, first of all, our device had a screen lock and what we did was reset it. We formatted it when it was our turn to format. Our phone, as you can see here on the left, the top part is left with that little padlock. That's what we had left on our device, and now additionally, it also has the same screen lock as the Google account. Previously, we could enter by activating the dev. The code that enabled this ADB code was ADB debugging. But these methods are already available on these devices. They're not working. These methods no longer work. If that debugging process were activated, R. The devices are outdated but no longer function correctly. Previously, when the accessibility option appeared, it was because our phone was fully ready to use. But with these new updates, these devices have changed. They're not working anymore, let me explain. The other thing would also be that previously we could also enter through uh, the depth because of the how, because of accessibility, that we could activate accessibility. The Talbad and we could draw a letter L so we could enter with the assistant. From Google, but these functions aren't working correctly anymore either. Devices have updated as well as the devices we have updated. So that we can bring a solution. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial without. Get ahead of yourself so you don't miss any details of what we we are saying we also have another completely different method a pc method method without a pc in the video description and in we've included those methods in the first pinned comment we're going to click here on start now we're going to get here we're going to click here on add then we click here where it says manual we click ok connect let's connect to a wi-fi network before we begin the recovery process, let's to get to where that screen lock appears. And finally we arrive at the place where the Google account appears. The forgotten Gmail account. That's where we'll be able to. And we're going to tell you what we're going to do in order to to recover our device. We will use a completely PC-based method. For those who don't have a PC, I recommend the video description. And in the first pinned comment you'll be able to find those methods completely without a PC. We have three different methods without a PC in that video description so you can enter and off. Can recover their device in a way without a PC. But if let's say you have a good PC, I recommend. Stay and watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial until the end. As we can see, we have a screen lock. Here we have our Google account. For those who know their Google account, they can add their email here. You click next and then you add the password and from there I would give you that access. You will now be able to recover that device from this section. That would be one of the easiest and fastest ways. Let's say you don't have the email, it also gives you the alternative of being able to add the phone number. You click next and you'll receive a verification code. A verification code where you will add it here and to give you access to recover your device. But the phone number doesn't have to be there. Add it here because you won't receive that recovery code. Let's say that you suddenly don't have any of the alternatives we've indicated. I recommend you do the following. We'll explain where you can download the tool from. Uh, what are you going to do? We always recommend that before disabling the tool. To download the tool, we need to temporarily disable the antivirus. 
What else will we need, like this device has? A Snapdragon processor. That's what we're going to use. What we're going to do is the following. To use what is a cable. A cable, we're going to use what is an ADB cable, a. Uh. Sorry, this is an EDL cable. How do we make this EDL cable? Any cable you have that works. You're going to remove the plastic correctly. You remove the plastic. Then you'll be left with these four colors. You'll be left with these four colors. What you're going to use is the color green and black. You're going to burn it. You're going to burn it and remove the plastic. They'll end up bald like this. I'll explain everything to you. We're not going to uncover the foam because the other scenario would be. Doing test points like this will make the video tutorial much longer. But let's do this faster. Let's strip both wires. We strip the two wires, then once they are stripped we go to go to our PC to indicate what else we are going to download. Okay, now that we're here on our PC, what we're going to do is search. First, disable your antivirus. So that we don't get blocked when we run the tool. We're going to hit it here on this shield that appears here on the side. Top left where it says virus protection. And we click here, we'll go down here, we'll find this. This option that says, manage settings, here. We click on it, we disable the first option that says real-time protection. We disable this first option, close it, now we go to our browser. Here in our browser we are going to download, we are going to type the following. Let's write here, David Soul. Let's write DB cell here exactly as it appears here. Okay, I'll spell it out for some of you. People who suddenly don't know how to spell it. I B I C E L L D I B C L. Just as it appears here, then you. This option will appear that says Dabacel, or you can type it Dabacel.com. It would take you directly, Davicell will appear here, or it usually appears suddenly. As shown below, Android TV, don't worry, you'll just click on it. And then it would take you to our official website where you'll be able to find many completely different methods. Updated methods. Now what we're going to do is go down to the last options where we'll be able to find this entry that says Apps Davidel. David Cell applications here you will be able to find them on this side as well. To find other tools, we'll select this one. Option that says applications. Once you're here, you'll see even more options. New tools, new and different methods for any device. What you're going to do is go down. We're going to go down. We're going to scroll down here and we'll find this tool. We'll find it here, this tool. When it's time to remove the tool, it will ask you. A password that you will be able to find right here. You'll find it too. You'll also find all the drivers there, having said all that. So what we're going to do is go to our PC. When you extract the tool, you will find this option. This is a PC. You're going to click here where it says, run as administrator. You're going to say yes. Then after you say yes, this option will appear here. You're going to click here on next. You're going to click here where it says next. Yes, next. The next step would be to install it completely here. The program will be fully installed. You're going to click here on finish. You'll have direct access, which is right here. As we can see, the program will automatically shut down here. The program will open automatically here. It's going to open by itself. It's opening here. Come on, it's going to come out something like this. You're not going to touch anything. You just have to click here where it says log in. Log in here. It will take you there. Directly to this section. It will open the program completely. 
When the program is fully speech based, we'll click here. The processor. This is the one we're going to use in today's video tutorial. Come on. Here we have the reference. Let's go to our device. Samsung Samsung here you will be able to find. You will be able to find all the models. The same process that we will use in this video. This tutorial is for any device listed here. The process will be the same. Here you will be able to find all these references. If you find your model here, you will be able to retrieve it easily and quickly. We have everything here. We also have options for tablets. Tablet models here for other devices. You'll be able to find all these models here and you'll do the same. The same process we use for this device applies to any device. Don't worry about the other model. It's the same process for everything. The same process that we're going to do, having said all that in this video. Tutorial. I have an AO5's device, is that the one? A 5 f is mine. Mine will select the last binary here we have. We have the latest binary for that device. Let's select it, we select it. Once we select it, we click here on services. Then we're going to click here where it says reset FRP. But before that, I'm going to tell you here in the driver. You'll find all the processors here. Install the Qualcomm processor here. After you install the Qualcomm processor, click where it says lip USB. This driver is very important. This program is very important. Because it provides us with the drivers if we have them installed. Then it's going to turn out like this. You're going to click here where it says remove, which is the option in the center. Click next and the drivers will appear here. If you see driven Qualcomm here, it means it's installed correctly. It's installed here, but let's say it doesn't appear for you. What are you going to do? You're going to click here, the first option, then click on install next. And when you connect your phone and complete the process, the driver will appear here. What are you going to do when it appears? You have to be quick when, when it appears, click on it, select it, and click on install. Once it's installed, you won't have any more problems. Now you just have to do the process again because when you install it automatically, the process won't work for you, but when you do it the second time, it will work. Now, what is it that we are going to do? I'll explain what we're going to do now. The first thing we're going to do is turn off our phone. Let's turn off our phone. We'll turn it off. We wait 10 seconds for it to be completely turned off. We're going to click here where it says reset PRP. We put it here for those people who do not have. The installed drivers can be seen there and selected. Now what we are going to do is the following. Let's find the EDL cable, which is this one. Let's hold it here. We'll hold the two cables here, the two that are bare. And we're going to insert the USB cable and quickly press the volume up button. And volume down at the same time we press it several times when it already reaches the fourth. Fifth option. We quickly disconnect the cables. Let's do it. We connect and plug it in quickly. We disconnect the cables here. We keep disconnecting them until it recognizes it. We're about to disconnect. We'll wait for the tool to complete the process. Here we can see what appears to be the Qualcomm processor. Here on this side it appears to us. Okay, fine, as you've already acknowledged, I'm not going to install it because the operation will crash. But if you don't recognize it, click here on install. When this screen appears, you will say yes to restart your phone. Our phone will now automatically restart. As you can see here, it says successful FRP reset and successful reboot. Now we can unplug it, we unplug it. We'll wait for our phone to restart and take us directly to the home screen. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll take this step so I can guide you through everything we're doing. 
Now our phone would be in the final steps to be able to recover and access our device. But sometimes our devices have some errors. How do we correct these errors? When we got our phone back with, these errors will always be present in tools. To recover it, I'll explain what you need to do. You're going to click here on Home. We're going to get to where the screen lock appears. The account for this, sorry, the Wi-Fi network, and I'll be explaining what we're going to do. We'll give it to you here in the manual. We're going to turn off the Wi-Fi network. We're going to turn it off now. We're going to click here on Skip. You don't need a SIM card, because having a SIM card wouldn't give you access. Click here where it says, do not copy. We click here on jump. They won't do anything. They'll click on jump. They give more, except add. Next, you're going to click next. Click here to start. Here you will see that this access would give you. Now what you're going to do is go to the adjustment. Go to settings. Go here to about phone, and here you'll tap. You'll find this option that says reset. Here you'll reset everything. When your phone is completely reset, you'll have a brand new device. Free from any errors, what you're going to do is configure it normally again.